Hello. Well, today I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about what I could talk about, and, well, I just sort of thought about a couple of things. One that, I, uh, one thing of what was, uh, what has to do with, uh, with Tenet you know, the film I talked about last week, which I enjoyed and I plan to see again. Not totally sure when that will happen. Uh, maybe by the time this video is out, um, I've already seen it again. But maybe not. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, in America, it's made uh, $20 million opening weekend, including all the money made from the advanced screenings, which I think is actually pretty good considering how certain states and major cities in certain areas of the country are not open. Uh, I think that's that's real well. I hope it uh, keeps, keeps going. More people are able to see the movie uh, as time goes on. And I also saw how internationally the film has made $150 million already, um, which would be like the second week or so since like coming out before America's release, like the previous, before I saw it, it would be like in some places like a, the weekend before I saw it on Monday, last Monday. Uh, I saw some people in certain countries, continents, that, you know, my uh, watch on here on YouTube talked about the film, and, you know, they, uh, they enjoyed the film, and the movie, uh, so it was sort of like a, like a week or so beforehand, a week, week and a half, or whatever, before, in some places, I recall correctly, and um, yeah, just making it made a good amount of money. I'm sure if, if the entire world uh, was open, you know, I think it could have been logical to see the uh, tenant could have made like about that much money within the first weekend or week or so, not a uh, little. Uh, after a week, more than a week, but you know, with how what how everything is right now, I think that's really good. Being the first big major film to be released in theaters after uh, reopening, and you know, I think that's I think that's uh, really great. Um, hope it keeps uh, going. Um, so that has to do with. Uh, you know, tenant. Um, and the other news is um, of the Godfather three. There's going to be a new re release of the third Godfather film because it's 30 years old this year. And I thought it was also appropriate because earlier this year I talked about each of the films individually. I talked about how I love the th three films, though I do enjoy the first two movies more than the third. But that's not totally surprising. Uh, that seems to be the normal consensus, but I do enjoy the third film, you know. But they're gonna now call it essentially what it was supposed to be called from the very beginning, though they're now adding something to it, which is The Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone. And the film was originally supposed to be called The Death of Michael Corleone because it was to serve as an epilogue to parts one and two, but as I sort of illustrated uh, in my Godfather 3 video, by that point, uh, Coppola hadn't really made many films in the 80s that was very commercially and or critically successful. The Outsider seems to be the one that was the 
biggest success and is really the one of the 80s, the notable film of the 80s that Coppola made that it has a cult following. Not to say that the other films he had, he made in the 80s are complete, you know, they're not that they're bad or they're terrible or anything like that you could describe, but for whatever reason, they just weren't very good. Uh, uh, at least the reception-wise at that time, it was not good. Um, and apparently there's going to be new scenes to the film, like he's going to have a brand new, I guess a new beginning and ending, according to Coppola. And no uh, further details of what he means by that are available at this uh, at this time. Don't know if this uh, this was an ending and beginning that was supposed to be uh, there from the very beginning when it was going to be released in 1990, or if this is just recent that he filmed brand new beginning and ending to a film for its anniversary. Um, nobody really knows, uh, at least not as far as I I am aware. You know, I just found out about this not too long ago, so that's interesting. Um, it's going to be in theaters in certain places in December, and then there's going to be a Blu-ray release of the film. Now I'm wondering if it's just going to be this Blu-ray, if it's only going to be Godfather 3, this new version, or if it's going to be the entire trilogy, you know, all three films and also both versions of the, the final installment of the trilogy. You know, there's the original theatrical cut and the 30th anniversary edition, whatever that'll be called, I don't know. But I think it's interesting that they have Godfather associated with it, because I think at this, oh, I guess there could be some people who have never seen the Godfather, so Michael Corleone, uh, even though the character is very popular and well-known, maybe some have will have no clue about, you know, uh, who that is or what the title is referring to, so that I guess that kind of would make sense uh, for some new viewers who have never seen the Godfather movies. And they know very little about them other than Al Pacino is the star of the ball. And uh, Marlon Brando is in the first one, Robert De Niro is in the second, Robert Duvall and James Conner in one and two, and you know all that. Um, certain basic things, like who is involved in the films, people might probably know, but character names could be different, could be a different story. So I guess in, in that regard, I kind of understand why they put the Godfather Coda, the death of Michael Corleone. Um, and I'm also curious as to, uh, with these new scenes to the films, I believe he's also going to he might do what he's, he's done with Apocalypse Now, take some scenes out and stuff, or put some new things in that he wanted, but for because he didn't have as much control, uh, available control or power, certain things could have been like rejected. I like can't have that in the film. So I, I'm curious if this will... Well, this will make the film longer, or what? Um, I would. Uh, I kind of think it would probably make it longer, but uh, who knows? Um, and I, I have no clue if this is even a. You know, this is even a scenes that were filmed back in like eighty nine, ninety, or if they're newer newer scenes that have been filmed many years later. Um, you know. uh, I guess perhaps as the release of this film gets closer, a few more details will probably 
will probably be discussed and talked about and you know I'm sure we will uh, we will find out um, a bit more before actually seeing the film um, and I would hope that there would be there will be another trilogy release you know set of the films just so you know you can uh, talk uh, have all of them and then the third film will have the theatrical as well as the new cut I don't know I just think that would be probably uh, that might work a bit more in Paramount's favor um, because you know I'm sure most people have bought all of them like in most people have bought them in, a, in sets you know like box set I have sure many people watching have and it would just be I don't know it might be a little odd if it's just the third film and they're not gonna you know any new really re-release of the trilogy in a set you know you know but it, they're not gonna package that with it so I hope they do I hope they do uh, have a set of all three films and both versions of the third film will be on one disc but I guess we will again have to wait for more details um, which I would imagine as hopefully at least by November before the film is to happen you know have its release you know, at least by then more details will emerge um, Maybe uh, by the time uh, this video is uploaded, maybe some more news will be uh, uh, shown, will be will emerge, and I can link that in the comments, like pin it. Um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Um, thought about just talking about some of the news of Godfather Three. As well as Tenet, you know, and how well it's doing, considering certain places aren't open uh, for theaters, so uh, people will have to wait to see it. Um, I just believe that there will be enough time for people to actually see this film on the big screen. I would hope so. Um, probably next year will be what... Uh, a film would be <sighs> excuse me released on blu-ray like have this film be out because it's only two and a half hours so fairly standard runtime these days and you know good amount of screenings every day and I uh yeah uh I'm sure after it's finally out of theaters it would probably then wait like a month or two before announcing when the blu-ray will come out um, but yeah Tenet's doing well this news about the Godfather 3 uh, uh, coming to blu-ray and DVD or at least blu-ray uh, with a new cut of the film for its 30th anniversary is quite interesting and you know, and I enjoy that film, so I think it is a very good uh, epilogue uh, to the Godfather saga. It's, it's best to view it as an epilogue, not just the third chapter, because I think if one views it that way, it might not be very enjoyable to many people. Um, I liked it the first time I saw it. Not as much as the first two, but then watching documentaries and behind-the-scenes stuff and the extras and bonus features, started to appreciate it more when the knowledge of it was supposed to be viewed as like an epilogue and called the death of Michael Corleone, but with the situation Coppola was in at that time, it's sort of understandable why it didn't uh, happen the way he would have preferred it and 
Maybe the fate of Godfather 3 would have been different. Or maybe the reception would have been the exact same and uh, just not having the title of Godfather associated with the film might have made no difference whatsoever. Um, but I think enough time has passed that I think as people sort of don't dislike this film as much as they used to, um, which I think is a good thing because it's one of those films that I think gets unjustly uh, criticized. Um, Obviously, you can critique the film, obviously. That's, that's not beyond critiquing in any way, but some of the criticisms, I think, just go a bit overboard and a little overblown. Um, but, you know, it's a fine movie. Uh, fine way to cap off the Godfather trilogy as an epilogue. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a really good film. Uh I'm interested in seeing this film. Um, and, yeah. Uh, well, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend, and you'll have a great week. Um, take care, and I'll see you all next time.